in trouble. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> You're OK. You're OK. I ain't been on this ride before. Say a quick prayer for me. Hey, hey! There he is. Hey, John. Steve. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Welcome to Buffalo. Thank Welcome you. Park. Yo, thank you. Yeah, excited to have you guys here. Yeah, I'm excited. This is awesome, man. You got, y'all got a lot of stuff going on here, huh? We do. We're yeah. excited to show you all of it. All right, yeah. One of the two things that our owner mentioned during that initial meeting was that football is played outside, so open air stadium, and it's played on natural grass. We're on schedule right now for a an opening in 2026. 60,000 seats, okay. 3,000 standing room, so a total of 63 mm -hmm. combined. Mm -hmm. Buffalo is a historic city, mm -hmm. architecturally significant. Mm -hmm. This image behind mm -hmm. me shows um, some of our inspiration. So why does the building look the way it does? It's basically taking old sports architecture in Buffalo and putting a modern interpretation on it. So mm -hmm. it actually is taking the past and reinventing, reinterpreting in a modern way. All right, so with that, mm -hmm. ready to get to work? Yeah, what we got? <laughs> Well, first, we're going to give you this hard hat. We'll put this on. We'll get you a vest so you're, you can be seen. We're going to get you to work out there. Perfect fit. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Sounds good. So we're over at the new stadium site. Yep. Part of the progress we were just talking about. Steve, this is John Grathrap. What's up, John? How, How you doing? How you doing? Nice Vice to meet you. president of field operations for Gilbane Turner. OK. So he's in charge of all the coordination of manpower, schedule, activities that are going on out here. So he's going to take you through, give you some activities we're going to get you involved in today. OK. So I hear you want to build a stadium. Yes, that's what they say. Yeah? Yeah, well, yes, sir. We, we, got a, we got a big plan for you today. So OK. We're pouring slab on metal deck on level 200. And the guys are waiting for you. They're all okay. geared up. They want you to help them pour concrete. All right. And then the steel guys want you to help them rig some steel and set some steel. OK. Then the crane operator wants to show you how to operate his crane. And then the big guys with the big toys with the big 800 dozers, they want to show you how to operate the dozer. And they want you to load some soil into a loader. Oh, OK. So we got a lot a lot planned for you today. All right. How All many workers do you guys have uh, working? Uh, right now, we're averaging from 475. We're creeping up to 500 right now. Wow. So when, we, when we peak out, we're going to be at 1,300 workers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. All right. OK, so you ready? Yes, I'm ready. What do you say we go pour some concrete? Let's do it. Let's All right. do it. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Hey, Steve, you're doing pretty good there. There's no way I could balance on one foot that long. No? No. Just be aware of your surroundings. You got guys, a lot of active going on. You got a high pressure line here, concrete going through it. Yeah. You got guys with hooks pulling on the hose. You can have metal objects moving around you. Just be aware of your surroundings. Yes, sir. Keep your head on a swivel and you'll be fine. I, uh, I can do that. And what part do you want to do? You want to rake it? You want to pull it up? Uh, let's rake. Rake? Yeah. All right. That's it. Why are you snicker? I'm not. <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> oh, Steve, it looks like you poured some concrete. Good job for tomorrow. For tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Now let's let's take you down out of the noise, and then uh, what do you think about setting some steel up now? Yeah, let, we could do that. So you got twenty thousand yards of concrete. You got twenty thousand pounds of steel. Steve, this is Jimmy. He's running the steel operation down here. You you're going to connect the steel choker to a hook, and then the crane's going to go up. Once that's connected, I think. We're gonna let you give the crane a signal, and then he's gonna know to start lifting the piece. Okay. There you go, that's the way. What up? Are you in the mood for bolting up some steel, too? I'm in the mood for whatever. I just don't know what I'm doing. These guys actually want to put <laughs> you in a lift, take you in a lift, bring you up, and have you bolt steel up, too. Are you up for it? I promise you, you'll be safe. Check it out first. And then you sure. <laughs> I like heights. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I don't like heights. I'm, I'm getting over getting over my fear right now. Uh, 
They offer me water, but I don't want to drink water because uh, I already have to pee. I'm watching this. I don't know about this one. Here we go. Say a quick prayer for me. Hey. Go, buddy. Ready? You want to get, get ready for this? Yeah. You got this. Come on. And we're going to get up close to the first one, bro. Yeah, I can see that. It's all right. All right, Steve, I'm going to give you this. Just uh, keep your hand on this. Just kind of eye the holes up. I'll stick a spot in there when you're ready, all right? Freddy, coming off easy. Kind of chase the holes out. Yeah. I'm going to leave that spot in the outside so that I can't bounce on it. You stick that bolt in there. If it don't line up right away, push up and down on that. Sound of money right there, dude. Like that? It's the sound of money when it comes up like that. Like that? Yep. Put this on her? Put the washer on. Make sure these uh, numbers are facing out. OK. And then go on first like that. Same thing with that, yep. Come on, man, dude. No, nah, I wasn't. Oh, dude. I'm going to suck this big. Huh? <laughs> oh, you talking? Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> nope. Me swing over. Where are we off to now? How would you like to operate a crane? Sure. When you get in here, this is your boom, this is your swing? Yes. And this is your boom, you're booming up, OK? Yep. I want you to start booming up right now. Pull back, and you'll feel it. I feel it. Let's put some swing now into it. Swinging right. Start coming down with your whip line. Okay. Hey, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring her down. Uh, bring her down on the whip now. Oh, yeah. Drop it off. Here we go. There you go. Put some sauce on it. Down there. Back up overhead. Back up overhead. Overhead. Bring it back up. Over his head. Over his head. It's starting to get it. Oh, hey. Keep her coming. So, Gary, you want to tell him about the, the piece of equipment, what it does, what the capacity is, what he's about to do? So the first thing I'm going to tell him is that you got to load a truck in a minute and 45 seconds for employer He's nice with it. Wow, he hit me with 58. I take hour, I take a minute and 45. That's what I'm talking about. But we moved over probably 700,000 yards taken with that machine. Hmm. We dug the whole, well, the whole stadium this last year. Wow. How much so? Roughly 35,000 loads of them trucks. It's a place for a million and a half pickup trucks. A million and a half pickup trucks just of just soil and dirt. Wow. <laughs> I'll pull back and you're curling in still. Yep, perfect. There you go. Now keep curling that one. Pull that one over to you. Now pick it up. Swing over to your right some. Now I'm going to back him in. So pull back on your right one a little bit. Uh oh. There you go. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh no, no, oh. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Pull back on this one. Push it to the right, it'll dump it. Easy. Yep, the bird just like that. Uh... Fuck it. There you go. There you go. Oh. You're good. He'll leave. There you go. You loaded a truck. I'm straight. What do you think? You like it? Nope. Why not? I was going to kill somebody, myself. No, you're doing good. Yeah. What's going on, guys? All right, what do you say? Solid day of work? Solid day of work. I mean, this is magnificent. To be able to see all this stuff that's going on, all of the detail work, uh, all of the years of preparation, it's, it's amazing, man. And you guys are cranking out and learning your system. In football, sometimes we talk about hard hats, um, blue collar. You guys are epitome of blue collar and really the, the true hard hats. And um, this is special, man. And I, I can't wait to just come back in this stadium and eat some popcorn and know that each individual seat, nut, bolt was put together by men and women's hands. What's what's my grade? <laughs> uh, I, you, you know what, to be honest with you, yeah. I watched you and watched you and I was trying to give you a D, yeah, yeah. but I gotta give you an A plus. <laughs> okay, A plus. Agreed, jumped right <laughs> you in. You did great, you jumped right Overcame in. Overcame the fear of heights? Yep. I still got the fear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to every team in the NFL to try to find the most interesting job.
If you have something you want me to do next, leave a comment below. See ya.